Hello, everyone. My name is Li Yan. Today, I'm so, I'm so excited to introduce our work, INET, Optimizing Tensor Programs with Derivation-Based Transformation. This work is a joint work with colleagues from Tsinghua and Carnegie Mellon University. Tensor programs are prevalent and widely used in deep learning. They are usually represented with computation graphs. For example, on this graph, each node is, a, each node is an operator and each edge is a tensor. Tensors are shared between operators. To optimize tensor program performance, execution frameworks adopt tensor program transformations to modify computation graphs. For example, in the original program, there are two parallel convolutions followed by an addition. To optimize it, we can transform it into the, uh, the raft graph. There is a, we first add the two convolution weights first and perform convolution with the original input and the new weight. With this optimized graph, we can have an equivalent result, but with fewer operators. To automatically find these transformations, the mainstream approach now is a super optimization, such as Parcel and PET. Their workflow has two steps. In the first step, it will take the predefined operators, such as convolution and matrix multiplication as input to enumerate programs. These programs consisting of the predefined operators, so we call them the predefined operator representable programs. Then, in the second step, we verify all the programs and to find out equivalent ones. This, uh, the strength of this approach is that it can automatically find more transformations, but it also has limitations uh, because it has a limited optimization space with only transformations consisting of predefined operators, and it also requires time-consuming verification. To address these problems, we propose INET, a tensor program optimizer based on tensor expression derivation. As we have shown in prior work, they only find transformations of predefined operators, and to explore a larger optimization space, we extend the predefined operators to tensor expressions and regard them as, as a special kinds of operator we name E operator. Then, with the help of tensor expressions, we can transform both expressions and uh, with the help of tensor derivation, we can transform both the expressions and predefined operators. Based on them, we can find more transformations uh, consisting of arbitrary expressions and predefined operators. We call the space of such transformations the general tensor algebra transformation. And uh, this space covers the uh, uh, transformation found by prior, prior, prior work as a special case and also include more transformations that are missed by prior work. And by, by exploring this space, INET can outperform existing optimizers by up to 2.7 times. To show larger optimization space, I will present a, a motivating example here. It has a three by three convolution, and we can uh, split its field tensor along the height and width. Then we can get nine one by one filters. Then uh, we, can we can convolve the original input tensor with the new one by one filters to have nine outputs. And to get an equivalent result with the original computation graph, we should add the nine intermediate tensor together into a single tensor. However, as the nine one by one filters, they correspond to different positions in the original three by three filter. The addition has an offset, so uh, we denote the offset with the blue squares on the side. Finally, we can fill the one by one convolutions into a single metamor to have the final optimized computation graph. While this optimization is a little complex, it can bring the speed up of two times on NVIDIA 100 GPUs for certain convolutions. In this example, uh, there are several operators not predefined in libraries, such as add with, add with offset, and they enable more optimizations. I will take this example to demonstrate how INET finds these transformations. Firstly, let's look at the tensor expressions in INET. Tensor expression in INET specifies the computation semantics, and we represent in a formal style. For example, this is an expression for metamor, and there are three variables under the symbol L and sigma. They have, a they have a range to specify its iteration space. And for symbol L, it denotes the uh, shape of the output tensor, and to access elements in tensor, we can use the 
uh, we can use the symbolic expressions to locate them. If there are multiple operators, for example, there are two following MetaMouse, and we can use the nested expression to express them. Um, the highlighted area in the slide shows the, the first expression, the expression of the first metamount is nested into the expression of the second one, and they are surrounded by the curly brackets, so it's a nested expression. To utilize the tensor program, we have to address three main challenges. The first one is, uh, as expressions are complex, uh, we, uh, it's hard to find the transformations between them. And the second one, if we have an expression, how to execute them on hardware efficiently is still unknown. And the last one is that there are plenty of different expressions and a lot of uh, execution, execution strategies. So how to explore the large search space is also important. Now, let's come to the first challenge. An intuitive way to find the uh, exp expression transformation is through the super optimization. Uh, uh, for example, if we have an input expression and we can enumerate legal expressions as a candidate transformation, then we verify them with the original uh, input, in input expression to find out equivalent ones. However, this method failed to uh, solve this problem as there are infinitely many expressions to enumerate and it's also very hard to verify the equivalence of two given expressions. Instead, I need to discover new transformations by derivation. Uh, INET performs derivation with a compact set of derivation rules. Uh, these rules rewrite, rewrite expressions in a mathematically equivalent ways. Uh, there are, uh, here we show the eight rules in INET and we can classify them into the intra-expression and inter-expression derivations. And we also support custom derivation rules to explore a larger space. Now, let's come back to the motivating example to show how INET performs the derivation rules. Uh, for example, uh, we can convert the convolution into a, into a tensor expression, and we can apply the summation splitting rule to divide the summation into two nested expressions. The initial expression sums along three dimensions, and that is represented by iterator C, R, and S. After derivation, the summation represented by the iterator C is performed in the inner expression, and the other summations are performed on the outer one. This new expression corresponds to the computation graph on the left. Uh, it performs the summation along C first and adds the intermediate results uh, along R and S. Then we can apply the uh, variable substitution rule to replace variable H and W with the new iterators T1 and T2. While this transformation does not change the computing semantic of this, of this expression, it modifies the tensor layout of the intermediate results. As we can see, with the help of uh, derivation, we can create a lot of new ex equivalent expression. After we get an expression, uh, it's time to think about how to execute it on hardware. And here we have different representation for a program and they correspond to different execution strategies. For example, if we can split a computation graph into predefined operators and dispatch them to vendor libraries such as QDNN and QBLAS. Kernels in these vendor libraries are very efficient and since they are highly heavily optimized, but there are only a few fixed routines. Alternatively, another approach is to execute expressions directly with the kernel generators, such as TVM. And these kernel generators are very flexible. They can tune a kernel for arbitrary tensor expression, but it requires a very long time to tune it. So the question is whether we can achieve the goodness of the both worlds and to have a both efficient and a flexible execution strategy. To reach, the, to reach this target, uh, we develop a technique named uh, operator matching. We can convert the tensor expressions back to the predefined operators if they have the same computation semantic, and then we can dispatch the computer intensive uh, expressions to the vendor libraries since they usually have a very long runtime, and uh, we can leverage the efficiency of the vendor libraries. And for the other memory bound operations, we can dispatch them to the kernel generators. Uh, since this memory, bound, this memory bound expressions you only have very flexible semantics and they, they only account for a short runtime. 
Thus, we can combine the benefits of both vendor libraries and kernel generators. Uh, in the motivation example, uh, after several steps of derivation, we can match the intermediate uh, expression to a metamod. Uh, uh, and uh, then, uh, after the, for the remaining part, although it does not match to any predefined operators, we can dispatch it to the kernel generator as it's, uh, it's, it is a memory bound expression. Yeah. Uh, this procedure is shown as in the green part of the expression. Now, we have shown the end-to-end -end workflow for INET. And uh, for an input program, we can optimize it by converting it to expressions, and then we can apply uh, different derivation rules. And uh, finally, we can choose proper execution strategy to find the transformation, for example, the motivating example here. And by different derivation rules, we can find the classic transformation of image to column. Yeah. And it's another approach to convert the convolution into a metamod with the help of uh, another expression. And there are many more other different transformations that involve the different convolutions with uh, different shapes or uh, parameters such as dried or dilation. It shows that the large search space can provide more optimization opportunities. However, it also brings large search overhead. For example, if we have a simple computation graph of a single convolution, it costs about 10 steps of derivation to find the typical transformations in INET. And 10 steps of derivation corresponds to 10 to the 8th power candidate uh, expressions and 10 hours search time. Uh, to reduce this search overhead, uh, we propose a new metric named uh, expression distance to measure the similarity between expressions. With the help of the expression distance, we can search the large search space efficiently. We use a two-stage search algorithm to explore the space. In the first stage, in order to enlarge the search space, we will apply all possible derivation rules, and uh, we don't care about the distance between expressions. However, in the second stage, uh, we want, to, you, we want to opportunistically leverage the high-performance kernel in vendor libraries. So we, want, we set a target operator for the search, and we uh, want the current expression to converge to them. In this stage, uh, we only the derivation rules that can reduce the distance between current state and the target operators will be adopted. Otherwise, it will be pruned to limit the, to limit the search overhead. Mm. Now, uh, I'm going to introduce our uh, evaluation briefly. We perform our evaluation on, on different NVIDIA GPUs, and we choose different backends, such as QDN, QBlast, Audio TVM, and Answer, to show that the approach we propose is effective on uh, different backends. And we also choose different models that covering language models and image models, and we choose strong baselines, such as TensorRT on NVIDIA. The end-to-end -end evaluation uh, for inference shows that INET can outperform the existing optimizers by up to 2.7 times. In conclusion, INET is a derivation-based tensor program optimizer, and uh, we propose a new technique, tensor expression derivation, to explore a larger search space, the space of a general tensor algebra transformation and we achieve a good performance with a speed up up to 2.7. And thank you for listening. Thank you.